but you got a lot of stuff that you want to take to market, or you got the biggest backpack that EVE Online offers, a freighter, well, you came to the right place. The fit tips and tricks to never get ganked in this video. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in. Loru here, the advertiser, content creator, and EVE enjoyer for the better part of 10 years now, and this large lad is a freighter. This is going to be a short video because the fit really doesn't really need to be talked about that much. It only has low slots, and this is something unique to freighters. Freighters are extremely tanky, but slow. They're basically a giant moving boulder in space, and they have huge cargo capacity. My chair in here has just shy of 500k M3. That's enough to move all the items I get doing level fours in a month in one single move. But before we talk about the fit and how to best fly a freighter, I want to talk about some E philosophy. Generally speaking, the more you put in your cargo, the more dangerous it is. People see a freighter and they immediately go, let's scan the cargo. They probably have a lot of stuff. If you fill up your freighter with all your items, ganking corporations are going to come find you and try to take you out. That said, if you don't fill up the freighter nearly as much as you would say a T2 hauler, you're basically only ever going to want to use a T2 hauler. Basically, the question you have to answer before you even buy a freighter is, should you get a freighter? T2 haulers do just as good. We have full fit guides on those. All that said, if you really want to get 500 thousand m3 of cargo space and use it this is how every single hauler is going to have three low slots we have a chair in here and i go back and forth between two bulkheads and one inertial stabilizer or two inertial stabilizers and one bulkhead the more bulkheads you have the more tank the longer it takes to align and get the hell out the more inertia stabilizers you have the less tank but the faster you can go from point a to point b typically the two inertia and the one bulkhead has given me the best results at the time while also being safe enough that i can get from point a to point b but the fit is basically the tip of the iceberg when it comes to freighters because really it's how you fly them that matters. What you're going to need when you're flying a freighter is a travel fit. We have full guides on how to fit travel fitted ships, so go check that out. For the sake of this video, I'm going to be using a Heron. The first thing is an insta dock station point. So I'm going to undock here and then illustrate this. Okay, so I've undocked and I'm just going to immediately stop my ship. Now, what we're doing here is we're going to get a point that is extremely close, if not on top of the actual station. I'm now going to align myself so I'm very, very close to the actual mouth of the station. And then I'm going to press Control B and make a bookmark that's says station insta name this whatever you want set it to never expire this means every single time you warp to the station you're not going to press dock up in the top right corner here you're going to warp to the location spot you just made this is going to let you instantly dock with your freighter we are now going to make a safe point to warp to as soon as we get out of the station as you come out of the station, you're going to turn on your prop mod immediately. This is going to let your ship jut straight forward. This trajectory you're going is pretty typical for how you're going to jettison from the station almost every time. There's some degree of air here, but this is good enough. Now that you're going straight forward with your micro warp drive active, you're going to wait until you're 150 kilometers away from this station. And you're going to make a bookmark that's called the off station warp point. Now that we're that far away, we're going to press Control B, off station, never expire. Now we have two warp points. We can warp to our station insta if I warp to that. You'll see it brings me extra close to the station. We can immediately spam the dock button and we will be docking easily. Now that you got those two figured out, we have one more point to do, but really this is one more point times the route that you're going because you're going to make a point at every single warp gate from where your base is to Jitta or to whatever your trade hub is. I'm going to warp to this gate right here and I'm going to warp to it within zero. And you're going to notice when I warp to this that I might not exactly be in range to immediately jump through the gate. This is pretty common and with small to medium ships, it's not that big a deal. You can see I warped to it within about 1400. I would not have been able to jump had this happened with my freighter. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your travel fit and you're going to double click towards the uh, gate just like you did with the station. And you're going to get nice and close to this gate. You're going to get on top of it as much as possible. Stop your ship, press control B. Now the freighter is going to warp directly on top of this gate and be able to jump out immediately. You're going to do this for every single gate in between your base and Jitta. When you get to Jitta, you're going to make an insta dock point on the Jitta station. All this preparation is it necessary, Loru? A hundred percent. You're going to be bringing hundreds of millions, if not billions of ISK worth of stuff in your freighter. You need to be sure that you're as safe as possible. Really, the only way that the gankers are going to be able to get you is if you're on autopilot or if you're just warping to zero and hoping that you're in range. If you go through this whole thing and make sure you warp to the bookmarks you've made, not to the actual points in space, you will never get ganked in your freighter ever. I say this as somebody that has never been ganked 
strength in his freighter. Let's do one example with this freighter here, just so you can see. All right, we're in space with this giant rock. We're going to warp to the point that says warp out gate. We're going to warp to that bookmark at zero. It's still going to take you some 40 seconds to get there. And really, this is the big reason why I use the two inertia stabilizers. It takes your align time down from 50 seconds to run 30 seconds. This is when you are at your most vulnerable when the gankers can come get you. But if you follow the steps that I've been laying out in this in this video, you'll minimize your time in the danger zone and while still minimizing the time it takes you to get from your base to the market. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Let's go. Let's go. And we're off. The warp speed is extremely slow. 1.37 AU. This means that gate campers and gankers can see you coming from a long ways away and they have ample time to react to you. This is one of the main reasons why setting up a warp to bookmark on the gate is so important. All right, we're coming up on the gate now. You can see that we're slowly approaching that gate. And instead of stopping two to three K off, we're gonna come right up on top of the thing and we're gonna be able to jump out. That is actually gonna do it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. We have a ton of Eve guides and the playlist for that is gonna come up in just a moment. If you enjoy, make sure you like the video and please sub, we wanna see you come back. As of the recording of this video, we are extremely close to 3,800 subscribes. Thanks very much for the support and the live streams have been popping off. We'll see you in the next video, y'all. Thanks. Thank you.